Okay, so going through iMovie, that is. It's going to be a lot slower to upload all of these videos. Literally. That's the difference between uploading them directly to, um, you know, to the, um, to the YouTube app through your, um, to the YouTube app through, not through your, uh, yeah, through the, the Photos app versus, um, up, you know, you know, your YouTube server through your Photos app versus having to upload these videos to I, uh, not iCloud, to your, to your iMovie, um, app on your iPhone and upload them. Like, it'll take probably like 10, 15 minutes to, do um that and then it'll take like an hour probably an hour or I don't know what else do it through I iMovie it's just it's hellacious honestly but at the same time I guess I'll live with it you know one of these days I'll go back to the Apple store and I'll ask them why did y'all do this how can I get this back you know without buying another phone to an extent so let's get right into it shall we so, uh, the last video I can make definitely would be, or at least I can care enough to make right now with this folder in front of me. New addition to the family. Um, the cause is, once again, youth development. Um, I love kids. I love people. I love teens. I love everybody. Let's continuously let God first learn better and grow together. Again, it's not too far off that I was a teen or still a teen. Um, I'm 21 now, so like I said, I'm like, if my math is right, I'm like um, t two years removed from that um, where I, when I was a teen. Um, still 19, you know, you, you know, you know, when I was still 19 years old. And, um, with that being said, like I said before, there's a lot of beauty, there's a lot of wisdom, there's a lot of everything. And I just really want everybody to understand where they fit, you know, you know, with, within these, these spectrums. I really want to let everybody know, particularly when it comes to stuff like, not just within our schools and our family education system, but also within places like adoption, you know, um, um, I really do want people, you know, p p people to understand, man. You know, God loves you, you know, and you absolutely can go far, you know. And it's like I said, there's so many kids out there that need help, you know. So many kids out there that need, um, that need real families, need real hope. And that's one of the reasons like I said, I do everything that I've been doing for years because, you know, you, must, you m might not get much support from other people surrounding you, but at the same time, you know, this is the realest purpose you'll ever have. You can't just keep on seeing, not only seeing the commercials, doing the research and being around some of these kids your own self and not see, wow, I have purpose here. I have passion for this. And this is definitely where God's plan has led me. You just can't be around it and not think to yourself, this is where God led me. I can do something with this. You know, and I definitely want people to understand that about me and my purpose and my passion and why I believe as passionately as I do because, I mean, you got to start somewhere. You got to believe in something and you got to grow um, with some grow everywhere, or at least try to grow everywhere. But yeah, um, I want everybody to understand that's one of the top things about um, me uh, is definitely as I continue to get to know uh, the next generation of Nice High School at Valley Ridge and other schools. I mean, and even people who uh, are at Nice now that transfer from another school. Um, like I said before, regardless of what's going, what's going on during the day, you know, Nice are still the colors that are on my heart and I bleed every day. Uh, say they were Valley Ridge and more. I just can't get enough of where I started, let alone knowing where I started, let alone, you know, where I started needs, still needs me more than college ever will. That's one of the times I'm not so big about trying to go to college because college culture, for the most part, with school pride or really anything, takes care of itself. School pride with college just take care of themselves. It's school pride with middle school and high school that is practically dying and is left for dead astray in the middle of the road. And that's where I have to be at because if I can help these kids enjoy school, enjoy life, and enjoy sports uh, by putting God first and just being real with each other, amongst other things, why not try? Why not give it a chance? Why not see where we can God first go with this to the best of our God first willing and able abilities? And that's exactly what I got to do and I want to do. And um, youth development is one of the biggest causes towards a new addition to the family. Welcome to the family. And that's why I say God bless all my middle school siblings out there and God bless all my um, high school friends out there and all and really, you know, everybody from really every age group, but definitely the K through 12 is like, you know, I definitely want to be there for you. I want to mentor you. I want to support you. I want to encourage you. And that's what being a part of my family is all about. Welcome to the family. This is niece family. This is Valley Rich family. And I'm telling you, they might not treat you like that during the school. They want the top things. I want everybody to move to this county, let alone move to our schools to let pe people know they might not treat you like that during the school day, that it's a 
you're part of family here. They might not teach you that because they definitely, I read the school reviews, let alone I've heard from my friends that are still there. They might not treat you like that during the school day, but I can assure you in my heart, I'm a faithful towards that personality, towards that attitude, and towards what we need to truly save a lot of, a lot of kids, save a lot of youth, you know, in our country, in our society, and that's the economy, um, if we just put our God first heads together and truly put God first and do the right thing by people. One of the top things we're not doing is we're not doing it right by people. That's why a lot of us are cursed today, you know, today and so on. And I just want people to understand, you know, um, I'm very much, you know, driven into it. I want to see where we can go with this. And definitely with Nice, with Valley, with the, uh, multiple of the schools, welcome to the family. New addition to the family. I mean, they might not preach that during the school day, but I don't call myself the ambassador for no good reason. So lean on me for that. Guidance, help, wisdom, and support. Because, yeah, that's how you truly build um, a successful economy, amongst other things, or a successful school house, school home, and, as I said before, school family. Uh, a lot of like I said, a lot of schools need that drastically. Whether you're in Jacksonville, whether you're here in St. John's, whether you're, um, did I say Palaka, Nassau, plenty of places I can name. Uh, whether you're in another another state like Mississippi, uh, which is the brokest state in our country, um, you need it regardless of where you at. You 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 need that type of mentorship, that type of advice, and that type of love and understanding and patience. And wisdom, and that's what I mean when I've told people people before. It's not that I want to stay where uh, you know I'm comfortable at, which what a lot of people try to confuse my lifestyle to be, which their lifestyle actually is. It's it's it has everything to do with just knowing where your foundation is, trying to give back to your foundation and continuously grow your foundation. And you're not gonna step outside um, your 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 calling to amuse somebody else's ego about you know another time and another place or where they think you should be. When you know you feel like your calling is where it is, right, right with you know right with your foundation. But as I mean to say uh, as well, um, like I said, I got family in Mississippi. I look forward to going back up there this summer and doing what I can to God first, you know, get involved, hang around, and uh, establish a base there, if not bases there in um, in Mississippi. So you know, even you know, so even if I definitely never become the official governor, it'd be almost like I'm governor like to an extent because it's like I'm more involved than your governor probably ever will be to an extent, you know, because there's no way in heck you're gonna tell me the brokest um, state in our country and you've been like this for how long? You've been with poverty for how long? Your education system has been where for how long? It's obviously you you got crooks running your state, you know, um, let let alone your cities, but definitely your state. And you need someone like myself in there that's going to not only preach the gospel, but like I, I want to be God first wherever I'm needed. And I want to get involved and I want to share God's love. So we'll see. Uh, I'm totally open to it and totally into it. And yeah, we will definitely see. So like I said before, you know, I'll I'll bring this culture of welcome to the family, a uh, new addition to the family. I'll bring this culture wherever I must. You know, I got to assure you that I'll bring this culture wherever I must. And do what I got to do to help everybody give back and be involved and so on and so on. I'll do what I got to do. So, I mean, God first on that really is new addition to the family. And um, I really look forward to doing what I can to, you know, help encouraging as many young kids and teens with this motto or these slogans as possible. Because definitely to all my middle school siblings, you need to feel a part of something bigger than yourself. You need to feel a part of a family. Especially if you don't have a good home life, a good family life at your, you know, place you actually live, you know, or do I do an extent? Well, yeah, <laughs> many phrases to you know put there, but you need a you need a you need a real family somewhere in your life, whether it's where you live or whether it is in school. You need a family, you need a home someplace, and it needs to be someplace godly where it's actually enriching and empowering you, rather than someplace you know damningly deadly where you're being negatively corrupted and so on and so on you need you need structure and a lot of kids lack structure in their life and that's another thing that i would love nothing more than to 
you know, give my middle school siblings is that structure. I want to see you grow up, as I've said before. I want to see you grow up and thrive and blossom in Christ's name and truly prosper to God's speed. So like I said, I'll be there for everybody. You know, I'll always I'll try to be there for everybody, whether it's through YouTube, whether it's through uh, so, social media. Put God first and let's put, you know, put, um, you know, put the you know groundwork to work. Take care of your boy, man. Angel to the city.